All right, let's get into some recordings. Again, I haven't really got a chance to do as much this month because um, I've been busy with other things for the month of August. But anyway, so we can go. So this one is called Earthquake Rocks of Jamaica and Trinidad. The massive 7.0 earthquake which struck yesterday in Venezuela, um, which would have been on Tuesday, August the 21st, was also felt in other Caribbean territories, especially in Trinidad and Tobago. Jamaicans in the twin in the Twin Island Republic have expressed gratitude that their lives, those of their loved ones, are spared. The quake, which was, which occurred around 4:30 p.m., originally measured 6.7, but was later upgraded to 7.0 by the United States Geological Survey. Deandra, a Jamaican, felt the quake and took to Facebook to express how she felt. She said, quote, unquote, the scariest and last earthquake just happened a while ago. This is the first time I felt scared and ran outside. The entire building ran out. I honestly th thought the building out front was going to collapse. Was that serious? I, I, I'm shook as, shook as AF, which is sure for shook as fuck. All right. Uh, when our news team contacted the other Jamaicans in Trinidad, they told the star that they were thankful to be alive. Kamar Mullins said, boy, it gone now. I had the most frightening three minutes ever. It's checked down the place and gone. It, it is a bus made the end. Some place get it worse than some parts. Buildings crack and everything gets frightened. We see our car crash. Neil Williamson told her news team, Me there Jamaica and never feel them type of shake ya. I mean ch Chaguaramas. Heroes badly affected. Haven't heard of any loss of lives. The earthquake's epicenter was around 100 kilometer, one kilometers from Port Spain, Trinidad and Tobago's capital city. The quake was also felt by persons in Grenada. The US Pacific Tsunami Center said the quake, which was fairly deep, could cause small tsunami waves along, along the coast near the epicenter 23 miles southwest of the town of Cap Carupano. Mantua Sempanti quake is considered major and is capable of causing widespread heavy damage, but the quake was 76.5 miles deep, which could have dampened the sea shaking. Alright, end the article. So, there was a little earthquake yesterday, and from what it's seen here, that there were, even though this was in Venezuela, that various other countries in the Caribbean basically felt, felt the tremors right there. And you know, if you understand how earthquakes work, uh, which work on a geographical scale, like a lot of these seismic tremors um, can, um, can, um, can happen in one place, but other places around in that region can feel it. Uh, so I'm thankful that I um, don't know how many people got were were the casual in Venezuela. Was. I'm pretty that people didn't get hurt, uh, and that the casualties weren't that serious, apart from collateral damage of property um, but hopefully no one was, uh, was seriously harmed and all right and praise go to those who, who were in, had to go through the same I'm thankful that so that people up here in Trinidad and Tobago like hopefully for my readings that nobody was seriously hurt so let's hope for the best and let's hope that they can recover from the earthquake because um, natural disasters that do come from time to time, but we have to be sure that we are prepared um, for when things like this happen. And sometimes you can't be prepared because sometimes it comes right to the blue. But we just have to just hope that the recovery process goes smoothly and that people who lost any um, lost anything serious, whether it's property or even or in loved ones that they're able to recover in the best way possible. So, that's all I have to say, man. Keep us hope for the best, and let's hope that everyone who experiences earthquake or experiences aftershocks of earthquake, that they come, that they're able to recover from it. So, that's all I have to say, and it's recorded.